But oh, did you hear that? Yes. No, recording your okay. progress. I, I think it uh, it gives a notification for all those participants that um, we will have the uh, video call recorded. Anyway, um, today we'll have um, a guest speaker uh, later while at nine o'clock. She will be talking about her business, which is the milk tea business. Um, apparently is um, a common at the same time popular business in the Philippines because um, there's a big demand for milk tea. So um, it became a common joke in the Philippines, like whenever after your salary, the term would be, oh, milk tea ka naman. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like uh, asking someone to buy you a milk tea. Before milk tea. Before Now the milk tea ka naman. Mm. One of the best treats you can you can have after you receive your salary is a milk tea, even two different flavors. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah I was I watching this video online last night um, about a diabetic diet, and um, they created something uh, like a milk tea recipe, but it's for diabetic. All right, I, I asked you last time about the marketing mix. How's the progress with that? Wait, let me just check my email quickly. I did this. Speaking of cramming. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I did the cramming. All right. I can see Jill's. I can see... Nothing. I don't know. Alex, you send your assignment. Alex, did you send yours? Uh, sorry, the one of my cat eat it. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm still because it's such it's it's such a complex part right, that I gotta start doing it from hard. the from the beginning. I need uh, I need some time. To do it. You'll have it time. Okay, let's begin with because uh, you know, uh, Jovelin is always ahead. Jovelin. Yeah, actually, Joel, I, 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 I didn't send your survey because I only, actually, it's not yet also finished. I did, I think, four, but still there are three to four missing, I think so. You will see later. It's, there are lots of correction, lots of things to rectify. I need yeah. your input. I'm kind of struggling. But now we learn more things from the beginning. Yeah. So now we are, we're kind of, you know, we, we know what to, what to add. You know, to be honest, in all assignments, this assignment only are struggle. And I mean, apart from that, we are really busy now. Yeah, we're really, really busy. Now, the, the fact that we are seeing, we're trying to put as much of the reality we can in that business. Yeah, right? exactly. It, it, it we, does not also look good to just write something which is not real. Yeah. Actually, I did it, but I don't know it. Okay, then. Fantastic, Jill. I saw your um, homework, actually. Wait, let me just open that yeah. for everyone. Girl, girl, Joe. Yes. Um, I see an A. Na I list. Ah, ito to. Nandito yung mga CNA. Ito yung list ng mga CNA na may uh, klase. Caregiver na walang klase po. Ay, ganun. Ay, ay, ay. ay, walang teacher, you mean? Oo, oh, walang teacher. O, oh, yan, bigyan mo kay Ivan. CG1 ba yan? Ma, may class na siya, oo. Oh. Ay, meron na? Tapos, may mga teacher. Ay, wala na ba? May bagong class? Oo, oh, wala na kasi. Ay, talaga? Okay. Sige, put them in the classroom and then... Wala na din classroom. Ay, wala na. <laughs> Puno na? Oh, my God. Uh, we can occupy first... Ay, uh, oh, gosh. Fifth, uh, pwede ang fifth floor. Eh. First floor. Try ko sa 3-0 CNA kasi part doon eh. Mm. Alright, come back to me. Alright, yes. Okay, Jill, go ahead, please. Share your screen. How do I do this? At the middle, oh there's a button next ah, to yeah, the I chat. Know. Yes. Post disabled participant is being shared. I cannot. Like it's saying host disabled participant is screen sharing. Ah, okay. Wait. Let me do it instead. I think I have downloaded yours. Uh, 
marketing mix of gel, seven piece. Oh, this is one. Okay, found it. It's in PDF file. Yeah, it's in PDF. Okay, a second. All right, all participants. Can you check if it has changed? Mm. Try it. Try again, Jill. You don't have work today, uh, Jill. I have. I have. <laughs> you haven't but prepared it's yet. I cramped with that assignment. <laughs> yeah, because I cramped with this assignment. I didn't have enough time. You will find it strange. You don't have any makeup. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm not All right. ready. This is seven P's. Um, unang kagat. Yes, marketing mix. Like, um, I'm not sure if this is correct. Like, but I have done what I. Sure. The best I could. Yes. <laughs> Present it. Okay. So this is my seven P's. Yeah, or the marketing mix. Uh huh. Yeah. Go ahead. Again, seven P's or the marketing mix would help us to create our campaign, to design our campaign. Oh, this is interesting. Now I feel hungry. Okay. I haven't eaten yet. Go ahead. <laughs> so this is uh, the first P, which is products. So um, as you know, we are selling scrumptious snacks, like burgers, nachos, cheese sticks, uh, pearl milk tea, and fruit tea. Yes. Um, and we do board games, uh, board games rentals by the hour. Um, and with my product, like with the products, we will make changes on the menu mm -hmm. based on the customer requirements. Mm -hmm. Like we could, like the plan is we could add rice boxes uh, and donuts if oh. it will be required, like to expand or to add uh, our menu. Um, and also, like this, still is a plan, like to be, to de to develop a signature, um, a signature product. Oh yes. <laughs> so this will create a branding, a, like a branding to create loyalty, to connect customers with the business, mm -hmm. and to motivate buyers to buy. Yes. Okay. Uh, so for my next slide. Uh, Motivate. Uh, so you're thinking of uh, a signature dish. It is. Is it yes. already? Uh, do you have uh, an idea of uh, your signature dishes? Like I can go. Like for example, I'm thinking of this donut. This is like mm -hmm. like this is a pearl like bubble. Um, like this has boba. Uh, one second, uh, Jill. One, one, one moment. Ah, oh, really, Jill? There is something like that boba inside? Yes. Okay. I learned something new. I will wait for Alex. Because you know you're all into <laughs> food business, so you have some signature dishes. Let me, I don't know. <laughs> he has a signature piggy. <laughs> you need to have a piggy that you will never slaughter. You will always keep him with you. He's like going to be your friend. You know, like this took me six hours, just so you know. Yeah, that's that's nice that donut with the with the boba. Yeah. Also custard, you know. Yes. Yes. Thank you. You have a lot of time on your hands, my friend. I don't have a lot of time. That's why I cramped. <laughs> <laughs> Like I okay, cool. Night. So the signet, uh, the signature dish that you're planning to do, um, how many, how many, uh, signature so dishes? This, I I am thinking of only like what, for example, like this donut. This has boba inside. So like this has the pearl. So for me, like oh. this will be a center, yeah, um, center, one that can be like the signature. Dish. Thing. Yeah. But uh, don't don't uh, these are snacks. Don't you uh think of like a salty snack? Like sure, fries. Like, that's why this is under development. We can like uh, maybe a different flavor. Yes. Salted egg flavor of 
rice. That's yeah, interesting. Right? Uh, <laughs> Inside the donut, salted <laughs> egg. <laughs> Maybe but it's delicious. Yeah, yeah. Have you tasted that, Alex? That red, um, that red painted uh, salted egg. Yeah, yeah, yes. It look na pula. Yeah. yeah, and even okay. the salted egg, they have done a lot. Well, right. you know, you should. I this is this is nice. You should have your signature uh, snack, and I think it should be a dessert. Yeah, for me. Because it's it's fun and mainly is gonna you know be full of of young young I customers agree with Alex. and and you know they will be interested more in uh, in sweets. Also, sweets are very easy to eat. You can use one hand and one hand you can play the board games. You don't is require it to prepare? Two hands. Uh, I would remember a uh, Chili's um our favorite we would eat somewhere else and we would have our dessert at chili's because this they have this lava lava cake uh, lava yes. molten cake yes yes <laughs> lava molten cake see you all know it because uh, that's the signature uh signature uh dessert that they have i think that's for yes. 49 their hams or like yeah. close to 50 their hams but it's worth it because like two people can uh, share one molten lava cake. All right, continue. The next P. Second P is the price. Yes. Uh, okay, so first we have like affordable products cheaper than the established competition. Uh, mm -hmm. Then the cost leadership. Like we are also going for bigger quantity and lower price. Mm -hmm. Like for example, here for the milk tea, we will offer like maybe one liter and a gallon, which be lower. So it means like I can reduce the costing. Yes. So I can also give like a lower um, purchase. Uh, this is really price. nice that you, you have included this. Later while um, our speaker, she will share about um, the milky business because she, she thought that um, it's just not selling milk tea that would give her profit, but also uh, being a supplier of milk yeah. tea ingredients to other milk tea businesses. Later while, uh, she'll discuss that. Okay, continue. Then, of course, like, um, we will be, it's like special offers, like, for example, like, buy four milk tea, get three fries. Um, ah, gosh. And mm. we will have like also like a happy hour, happy hour. So 5% like, um, 5% off from the, uh, from a specific timing. Hey Jill, you gonna serve some uh, some shots, some tequila shots? No, but I will just call it like the happy hour, the one with the person. It's okay, like for kids, you know, that almost eighteen, almost like one month. Yeah, <laughs> you can give them like yeah. some shots. Maybe <laughs> it's almost it's a good 18. idea. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you will serve it like you know shot glass yeah the milk tea. <laughs> <laughs> also sharing plates is a uh, is a good idea for yeah. for the you know for like the a platter like thing i think like yeah going, like for the cost leadership, like bigger quantity with the lower mm -hmm. price. Yeah. So I think it's a good thing, like sharing plates, like um, it will give uh, more. Plus, exactly. they will go on groups. Yes. I think there will be like uh, two, four, six, something like that. Yeah. 
But you know, sometimes, like for example, I do this when I go to Jollibee. I feel that their a la carte or like value meal, solo meal, mm-hmm. gives has a better price than their bucket. Like I just yes, yeah. <laughs> like I because was there so... is a there is something in the menu always that is called the high the high volume uh, mm. menu item that brings you that brings you uh, um, how do you say a a constant a constant profit yeah like yes like for others like if you're really not into you will just think like oh, okay i'm getting more value uh, in this meal but then if you're really like trying to okay if i get this solo how much is it all, all the big <laughs> Oh, yeah, all the big fast foods they have. This look like, for example, you take uh, McDonald's. McDonald's is focusing also on the meal, and then McDonald's is making money by upselling your product, the, their products to you. Like um, I don't know, upgrading, uh, you know, upsizing your your meal, like more fries, better, you know, uh-huh. bigger drink, and then by making <clears throat> by selling you the dessert. You know, yeah. And then they make from the special offers, which are menu items that they're not they're not selling in general. They're just adding a twist, yeah. and then they're still selling them after. Just so yeah, it will go over. Yeah, same for us. Like even if in retail it happens, mm-hmm. like we will put them. Um, on promotion like <laughs> ones that are not really exactly. selling like we will say like okay if you buy this stuff you will get like 30 percent off we <clears throat> we have also some retail items in in at my work and if they're not selling in retail during christmas we're gonna put them all in a basket like in a hamper and we're gonna yeah. sell it as you know as a whole and you will and have more price like right like more because you will put it in a basket like yeah like, at the end of the day you're still getting the same money that you yeah. you will sell it yeah. individually you know so it's a it's a good strategy all right yes i just got um, a student complaining i had to like explain customer <laughs> service um, because there were trainers that left and uh, there were classes that are hanging. So I have to like fill in that. Imagine in the morning, <laughs> you came in fresh and those are the things that you um, encounter. All right, second price. By any chance, Jill, have you, pre- um, the one that you sent, uh, this one that you are presenting, is it already in your menu? No, like this is uh, because of like, um, like tackling the marketing mix has given me idea of what I can do. True. But With the uh, I don't have enough time to make the changes in my menu. That's why. No worries. To, yes. Yeah. We still have two have modules. To... <laughs> two modules yes. for us to fill that part. <laughs> uh, part. So that's like yeah. 12 that's like, weeks. Yeah. So like this part that I will incorporate later on with my menu, I just put it here. Because marketing is very important. I think it's 50% of your business, honestly. Yeah. It would help you to, it's like the, the blood flow of your business. Yeah. All right, you can proceed okay. with, the second, uh, with the third P. Yeah, So, but this is my menu, which I put yes. before, remember, on my uh, first yes. uh, attack. In our first assignment. Can you zoom it a little uh, bit? Uh, okay, wait. 20 dirhams uh, at 20 pesos. That's affordable. Milk tea. Is the price of the milk tea like this now? In the so actually Philippines? For, uh, like, there are some that is more expensive. Like I think uh, 90, 95, 100. But then I considered my area as well competition my target market and since it's my in my house i'm not doing any rent so like i can afford like this is also cost 
leadership, I think. It falls to cause leadership when the cause, um, like your main cause uh, is decreased. So you can also uh, decrease like the price against mm -hmm. your something. And, yeah, and also something helps you helps you in special offers like uh, yeah. 60 peso special offer. I don't know what, blah, 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 blah. And Easy match 60 plus beef 25. That's 85. Oh, I yeah, think, uh, isn't this a little bit um, expensive? I'm thinking it's going to be a big. This is how like a restaurant the price. Yeah, how what? much is the usual baon of Filipino? For I mean, kid question. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, well, yes. These are kids with no salaries, huh? huh? Yeah. These are okay. kids with no salaries. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm work. asking. How much is the what do you call only in English, Joe? Bound is allowance. Like yeah, how allowance. much will be allowance that we'll give with our children whenever they go to school. Um, yeah, because target, her target market is uh, I mean, I mean the children or I mean the students. Yes, I think the price will be a little bit high for them. I just thought. So, I'm not really aware how much is the pricing now in Philippines. Yeah, actually, like most of the nachos that I have seen are really expensive. Actually, like the one in the, uh, like the one with branding in the malls. Because usually outside it's not, and I am thinking like this can be something because um personally they will have an option like um hamburgers uh, cheese sticks but then maybe if they go into groups like they and I have a suggestion for you everything. you can you can also maybe come up with you know pricing a separate pricing special pricing for students student yeah, meal meals, student. Promo. Yeah, student meal or just show your ID, you know, showing that they're, I don't know. I don't, yeah. That could help. Yes, yeah, it's a promotion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Add ons, the girl, uh, the games, 50 per hour. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a nice, um, like, unique selling point for your business. It's five their hands, no? Yeah, five their hands. At the end, board games they will be they will be shared. So 50 divided yeah. by four. So, by yes, four. board games can be yeah. Monopoly yeah. can be uh, played by four people. Four. Um yeah. chess two. Two. Yeah. Okay, cool. Bagamon two. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Next page. Um, yeah, the place, which is we already also tackled. So it's going to be located near the school. So easily accessible, covering residential areas, uh, and it's near public transportation terminal. So in this part, again, we're under the marketing um the marketing side of the business, when we're considering about the place, that would help us the type of campaign and promotion that we will uh, use for our business. Located near the school, do you think that novelty items would be helpful, like giving free um, fan, the one that folds, and then it says their unang kagat, notebook or pants or calendars, or oh, and the, you know those um pens with calendars that you have to pull yeah with unang kagat novelty items maybe could help for marketing easy accessible flyering or a big tarpaulin or um that led uh led monitor that shows your uh food uh, those will be the consideration for the place um, electricity do you think it would uh, not be uh, eating up so much of your electricity bill. So uh, that would help us. In your place, what do you think would be a good marketing tool, Jill? Uh, this is in front of your house, right? Yeah, near actually, like near, very near. What like, do you think? What is, is What do you have in mind? A tarpaulin? 
tarpaulin perhaps that says unang kagat because um <laughs> maybe for this like for the transportation you know the air freshener that they always use <laughs> yes the christmas tree yeah 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 <laughs> the pine tree yes the pine tree yeah the pine tree you can have it uh modified then it says unang kagat because yeah. it's tricycle yes those yeah. could help those could actually help yeah and then for the students uh pen which they always losing is it i think it's something that they shouldn't lose like maybe a pen yeah <laughs> correct <laughs> i'm thinking Very of the true. pen you know play. like the what do you call this one even in the office <laughs> pen is always <laughs> because if i will put pen it will be easily lost so i think something they can put in their bag Yes, or keychains. Good for a probably. Also as advertising for me, every time someone sees it. Okay, um, I'll just do some customer service and complaints handling. Uh, give me some time. I'll just get the details of those classes. Uh, without uh teachers, but this is recorded. So, um, Jill, you can continue um explaining. So we won't uh, waste time. Okay, so I can proceed, right? So uh, this is being recorded anyway. So this is the, the four P promotion. This is where I got lost. Like, okay, so uh, for my promotion, like what already um, he said, advertising through flyers uh, mm -hmm. and then other promotional methods like, uh, for example, like loyalty card, uh, including point of sales display. Then, of course, the social media promotion like Facebook, Instagram, and uh, TikTok. And by doing like this marketing mix, I found out like why really, even if we don't know why we should really adapt to social media, it, because it can really bring us um, new customers that may not be in our area. Like True. just yeah just curious enough and it will provide us like a bigger bigger market so, than what we have in our place so i think that's also like what is the good thing is a farther reach in you terms know, of, of I, I learned also something at first you know what i'll be very honest when i'm thinking of the word promotion i was thinking oh there's a sale or something like that yeah, so me also. while doing this marketing marketing piece, I mean searching and searching. So market promotion does not really only mean there is a sale or something, yeah. Yeah, it even yeah. Means, it means advertising. Yes, or, it also yeah. means advertising. So that's it for me. And actually, I was confused like with pricing because even in pricing, I um I have mentioned like the promotion I will be doing but in terms of um, the price. So, in a way, like, uh, when I was doing it, I was I was really confused. Like, on which category I should put. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You have a look at my yeah. have a lot of growth. Promoting, promoting is like promoting your business all the time. Never, yeah. never stop promoting it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not with the special prices, special offers and all this. You know, be like... Um, What's this guy's called? This uh, retail shop. Uh, uh, Pierre Cardin. There's all these. Pierre Cardin, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All your fifty percent, seventy percent sales. He never. He, this is the price. He's just, you know, just he's always yeah. on offer. <laughs> and like all it's a big seventy percent off, ninety five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ch yeah the price is never exactly changed. Really right. yeah. But if you go there, even in discount, it's still expensive. So, exactly yeah 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 oh over, super overpriced like two two yeah. three hundred percent overpriced no <laughs> reason exactly. it's the same when you go somewhere then they will tell you like um <clears throat> they will have a margin like they will say 200 because they will know in a way you will also bargain with them so they already have like this margin for the bargaining is this a foggy guy gonna be your chef or <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just like I just use this like for the, uh, uh, the smile. I call it. 
smile. I needed his smile. Yeah. I think it's a big thing, you know, when you go to... Uh, like, I think I mentioned already to Joby how... I know, I mentioned it to someone else, like how customer service really is really important to me. Like, even if, it, if it's a place that I like the food, if I didn't like the customer service, I will never go back. <laughs> like yeah. if it, like I will not, I will not go back. I will just find a place to where I can find, like a bit a good food as well and good customer service. Sometimes True. I go back just because of the customer service. Like True. I'm having fun. Um, they recognize you. You know when you go, like I think this is the one you get for PIP, like for your training your people. Uh. This is what I learned, like, on how you train your people. Like, here, you train your people, uh, then by doing your service, they give satisfaction, like, they do good quality uh, of service. Uh, they will re receive good feedback, support, um, satisfaction. Then you will get customer loyalty. True. Which is uh, really good in business. Uh, and then also I found out like uh, your people can influence customer perceptions. Like they can come with no intention of buying, just checking. But with your uh, with your people, they can change. Like uh, for them to buy, like just from the thought, like okay, I will just check this out. Then finally uh... they will find themselves sitting already. <laughs> Yeah, you know when you're actually buying something, you're not buying anything. You're just buying experience. Yeah. Yes. So that experience sometimes has to be justified by somebody. You know, it's like, should I? Should I? It's more of a try. It's not like a a you know hundred percent guaranteed satisfaction. It's just I need to yeah. try. It. So as long yeah. as you have people that you know convince those customers. Yes. To try one time, at least yeah. one time, you know. Then they will come back because there are places that you go and then you will say, uh, okay, it's fine. At least I have tried it, but I don't think I will ever come yeah. back. Yeah. It's a one time thing. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, and then the, um, uh, yeah, appropriate interpersonal skills, aptitude, and service knowledge. I think it is really also important like for them to have like like this good smile, like be good um, um rapport to the customers and like good they should be knowledgeable as well. Like they should really be knowledgeable because it's the same thing when you go to a shop and then you ask them about their product and they really don't know. <laughs> it's really disappointing, right? Like they will. Oh my God! They, I'm, I'm, so, experience. I'm sorry, Madam. I'm just here. I just woke up. I just came here. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> like, you know, it's the same in the menu. You will ask them, like, because some menu doesn't have pictures. Yeah. Right, and then you will ask them, like, okay, um, what, uh, what exactly is, uh, this? So then they can, um, I think uh, it is something. You know, then you... Hold, hold on, madam. Let me go ask the <laughs> chef. I'll be back yeah. with you in a second. It should be like this, right? But then when you get like really... I, like, I'm not so sure. And I think some... We have... Like, because I have my boss also who's into gluten-free things. Mm -hmm. So he will all... Of my, like, most of the time, they will... She will ask, like, is this gluten-free? Do you have any? <laughs> yeah. so she has a lot of these questions, and if like she will not get, it's not even she, they should know, but like even the right way of um saying that uh like what how you have said like okay uh, like I will uh, confirm just for you like you know to make them feel special while you're also um make, even if you're making them wait, like I think. It comes with a good um, aptitude as well, like on how to handle this kind of uh, situation. Correct. Not to make you look stupid. <laughs> like, yes. Uh, <laughs> at least, you know. It's the same when I, I think I was, uh, before I was um, in college, 
I I was doing like teaching, uh, office Microsoft Office, like tutor, like a tutor. And then my professor said to me, if they ask you something and you don't know the answer, don't tell them that you don't know. Tell them like, uh, um, uh, for now we are not. Uh, we will discuss it later on. Uh, but for now, let's focus on now. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think this is the same thing. Like not this is the best you, way. Yeah, that you don't know, but you will say like, uh, like, uh, give them the information on a, uh, uh, good way, not and not telling them that you don't know. Like this is the wrong answer. <laughs> But so, this sometimes is not gonna work with the customer that is gonna order like a bubble tea. Yeah. And I said, I, I want to yeah. order a bubble tea. What's inside? They said, listen, I think you look more like a coffee guy. I think coffee is gonna be much better for you. <laughs> yeah, right. But I mean, like, knowing how to handle it, like that is the thing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh... And then, yes, maintaining work culture that en ensures customer sat satisfaction. Because by the end of the day, we want everyone to, like, we want our customer um, satisfied, like, to come out of the your place satisfied and wanting to come back again and recommending your, recommending your place. So that's it for my, uh, so for the six, P, P. physical environment but i actually more found physical evidence so i don't know if um, some are different so for the physical environment so i'm just thinking um providing an at attractive interior that will make them want to come mm. right maybe some some bean bags also those you yeah, know, they're comfortable. Yes. Something <laughs> relaxing, like uh, uh, relaxing for them. I'm not sure if this will be a part of physical environment, like the well group <laughs> staff members, like what they say, a apron, um, apron does a lot. Yeah, I think, <laughs> uh, I think, uh, Maybe some funny T-shirts will be okay. Yeah. You know, some something. But at least a uniform, I think, it's still like something. Mm -hmm. uh, what the tre uh, casual, but also it's still a uniform. Like you can say it's still a uniform. As they, they, the kids and students, like you know, all the students, they will still wear uniforms, right? Yeah. So I think they're tired of seeing people in uniform. <laughs> but the good thing is that you have uh, white people waitress and waitresses. Yeah, That's good. I cannot find something. Yeah, it's very it's difficult fine. to find icons. You know, for yeah. you know for, it's fine. Filipinos, uh, most, mostly Filipinos taking Luta. So Luta mm. Tayan, so they understand. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, ready? yeah, yeah. I'm ready to one more. It's only six p. There are seven p. Okay, wait, my God, you are really okay. Wait, uh... that's separate. <laughs> <laughs> Process. <Wait. laughs> so this okay. is the last p, Jovi. The process. <laughs> so um, food prep, food preparation, which is transparent to customers. I think most um. Uh, not even like restaurants do this one, right? Where everyone can see how they are preparing okay. foods. It comes because you know the like we watched like a lot of those exposed things, like mm -hmm. restaurant exposed, and we see how the like what like this exposing like they see like bad things that they are doing with the food if they are upset with customers. Open like open kitchens, yeah. Open yeah, kitchens open is kitchen, something yeah. before you in the past you used it was not it was not there, yeah. you know. And yeah. uh, it was only the bar. Yeah, but because of the exposed, you know, when they are showing these things, then people were like wanted to see, like, okay, what are you really doing with my food? 
And yeah, it's not like yeah. the customer that will understand what you're doing, the full process, but the, at least they will feel, you know, more more comforting that yeah, you I can prepare it. it in, in. They see what you are doing with your, how you prepare them. <laughs> sure. Is it clean, especially now that it's COVID? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think. Proper handling. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then the food packaging. Then efficient food and beverage equipment. Yeah, you have very high tech really equipment, Sira. Really nice. <laughs> actually, it's not really high tech, but it's it's not high tech actually. But um, what is this one? it really this, uh... looks nice. Yeah, yeah. It's but... just this one is just a prior and um, deep prior and the grill for the burgers. This one is just like thermos, you know. Yeah, this uh, one. Then... I'm into this big fryer. Yeah. This one just looks um I like that packaging, you know, this nice. brown looks really clean <laughs> and uh, environment friendly. It yeah. is, yeah. It's... So and the, then I have my plot chart, which like browse menu, place order, oh, really item, every <laughs> item. Very good. <laughs> App selling, board games, payment, <laughs> preparation, dine in, takeaway. And then when yes. I'm asking her, she said she don't have assignments. <laughs> no, yeah. I told you, I, I I told you I will do it at the end. And I did it 11 p.m. yesterday. And I yes. finished yes. at 4 o'clock. <sighs> okay, so. So that's why no makeup, nothing. <laughs> because of this assignment. Like, yeah. I didn't expect it will take a lot of my time. I was expecting... Yeah, you, the most. you know, I'm also struggling. Sometimes I'm also, you will see mine. I am not happy with this presentation. Anyway, you next. I, I, I'm sorry, Jill. Are you done? Yes, I'm done. Yeah, very nice, Jill. And then I mean, in a very, in only a short period of time, you came up with this is already something, I mean, well. Even short. <laughs> and especially we are working. It's not just the whole day. We are, you know, free. Well, uh, well, honestly, very... if if you if you put me to to write all this in a word format and send it to you guys, I will be more than happy. I'll do it in half an hour. You have to do art and yes, this exactly. and um, for a presentation. It's really required. That's why it's I'm also... not very skilled in this. <laughs> yeah, I think you have okay. like, because for me, I did for it's the thoughts. You know, it's the content that counts. Yeah, sure. for me, but I actually the data. Like you should yeah. do the data first. But Alex, and you will not also ignore it's the icon or you know those photos that makes your presentation nice. Yeah. Correct. You should do the data first and then from yeah. your data do the whatever. You know, whatever the icon you need or photos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh you oh you go now, Alex. I uh, you now, Alex. Jill is eating now. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. She's done. <laughs> Should I present mine or you first? You mean me? Yeah. I got nothing to present. The cat ate it. You don't know what I No. She hit us with the cat. The cat ate it, right? The cat ate it. Ah. Okay, so I'll share mine too. Uh, Be before I send it, you know, he ate it and then, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> I got it, but I really don't have time. I'm, by the way, I'm leaving at 10. At 10 o'clock, I'm leaving after one hour. I, I got work to do in Rasa Kaimon, so I need to run. Usually, you don't have work on Friday. Sometimes I do, you know. Yeah. Can you see my presentation, guys? Yep. Wait now. I think Joby was frustrated because... Um, yeah, so you know what? I I will be I will be very honest with you guys. I'm not very happy with this presentation. Okay. <laughs> but you guys knew from the beginning that you need to do a, a you know to put a business plan in a PowerPoint, right? Yeah. yeah. I did everything separate. Actually, Jill, I saw yours is kind of separate. So how are you going to compile it? I'm doing it now in one time, so I will not struggle compiling. I'll just, I'm just everything. It's when I, I can do this. Yes. There's nothing Jill she cannot do. Right, right. <laughs> well, you can 
see my screen, right? Actually, I just realized that I had to do it in... Because she told us first to do it in Word, right? Yes. So I then, edited so it in Word. Like... But then it's true. If we're gonna do it in um, PowerPoint anyway, so it's better to continue in PowerPoint. But I still yeah. have don't have time. But I will do it um, later. Like the previous presentation, I will put it in the PowerPoint. Okay, so here's mine. You can see now. Yep. Anyway, my PDF is PowerPoint. I just um okay. save so it as So here's our assignment. Marketing makes 70. Okay. Um, okay. Product. There are lots of correction and, and I'm open to your suggestion. Correction addition. Okay. Your, uh, your internet connection is unstable. Okay. Product. Happy Piggies is a natural natural meat farm. Our pigs are naturally grown and raised with no antibiotics, no added hormones or steroids, no medicated feeds or artificial ingredients. Our pigs are fed mainly on corn, wheat, or maybe barley. The corn gives the pork a fragrant taste, while the barley gives the pork sweet taste. This is what differentiates us from other piggery farms. Okay. And the following services we will focus on in the course of running our pig farming businesses. I mean, sales of pigs, breeding services, and patent services. That's you it have for added my product. products, I think. Huh? You have added services. Now. Yeah, breeding and patenting. Actually, my aunt saying just I think add this is good. Yeah. I think this is, you know, this suggestion just came from add, add it. Mm -hmm. additional like that later on you can just edit but for now you can add okay anyways price happy biggest pricing chapter involves taking into consideration for material cost and overhead cost by adding the profit markup we come up with the final competitive pricing and actually our pricing may also be calculated based on the loan we will adapt to a specific environment or the market price or general pricing or volume discount pricing or geographical pricing wherein you know we calculate the pricing based considering the transportation or the location of that specific customer see look at my icons very bad i'm not happy okay I think place. The content is really... Yeah, place. This is the place where customers make a purchase. So uh, I was thinking of, I, I'll also take a photo of our pigs. You know, this is the trend now, really online. I'll, 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 we will make a website. We will run social media platforms and they can buy directly from our farm. Okay, and Happy Pig is can provide work to the following. Individual, wholesalers, retailers, restaurants, hotels, eateries, butcher shops, abattoirs, or slaughterhouses. Yeah, com competitor, um, there's really no, there is really no significant competition apart from few families raising one to two pigs backyards of their house. Promotion, okay. We are well aware that most of pig farming businesses fail to make substantial profits because of inability to market their business and products. Having this in mind, Happy Gays have was able to develop uh, several marketing strategies to promote our business. They are as follows. We will start introducing our business and products to everyone, as in everyone, starting from our friends and extended family. That's for a startup. So word of a time, when we introduce, they have friends, they will tell that, oh, these have a piggies, do we own this, blah, blah, blah. We will also make sure to leverage the online world in advertising our business and products. We will run strong social media campaign on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, etc. We will also make sure to advertise our business and products in food-related and agri-allied magazines, reputable newspapers, We'll also put some billboard ads tarp on the road and we'll do branding of the delivery vehicle services, putting stickers or decals in the vehicle. We will also make sure to attend agriculture related seminars, food exports, or yeah, exhibitions. We will also do well to encourage our loyal customers to spread the word out to others. And lastly, we will generate customer bonus program and promos to reward our loyal customers and introduce a limited time discount 
with first purchase and therefore created also a marketing calendar. Taran. Um, I think that there's time like how you can say you haven't done anything when you're like I, mean, no. I didn't do anything. I did everything. <laughs> No, Jay, this is not new. I just copy paid it, copy paste it. You know that previous pre the presentation. So I just took it from there. Sam, okay, done. But I think like, this is really detailed. <laughs> done. <laughs> a promotion, you think? Okay, you you comment later. There are lots of things, and to be honest, I'm not happy with this all icons. I I don't find it nice or attractive. People, look, uh, it's empty. People, people define a service. So I was thinking, oh, yeah, these are operations. The people is in charge of piggery, butcher, and I mean, cult control. Say hey, nothing. It's empty here. Individual on marketing activities, deliver personal custom service, training, and skills. See? Nothing. I'm not happy, said. Okay, process. I don't know what will happen if you're happy. If I'm yeah. happy, you will have very nice content here. You okay, got to be process. happy anyways. Yeah. Process because the at the cat did not eat this. <laughs> yeah. Process refers to the processes involved in delivering our products or services, or it is about being easy to do business with. That means we will have a free delivery, but actually, to be honest, there will be hidden charges. This is just to attract. <laughs> of course, I'll calculate <laughs> the cost. Okay, so, have... it will yes. be added on the cost of the all year round in promotion, but actually there's something there. Pro so product just... value is 20 dirhams. Selling <laughs> price is 800 dirhams on sale. Yeah. I wouldn't say that it's free to deliver just to say that, oh, they're very easy. It's a free delivery, but actually there's a hidden charge. It's yeah. I think these are just like that you are not happy, like the one with three points only. Yes, I'm not happy with this. It's not, it's not really defined business. Okay, and then if physical, can you check my physical environment? So mm. uh, I, I mentioned here, I'll focus on clean and hygienic interiors of our farm. We will come up with, I, with ding dong. Ding yes. dong. <laughs> um, <laughs> ding on, dong. Yeah, on my physical <laughs> environment, we'll focus on clean and hygienic interiors of the farm. I got your we'll do branding. We'll do branding and uniform of employees. We'll present our product icon or mascot, might be creating a stickers or decals in delivery calls and creating jolly single song. You know, my cousin suggested this. Make a jolly song jingle her. song. Ah, happy yeah. piggy. And lastly, these are my marketing materials. Happy piggies. And I did not send to Joel because I'm not happy. All right. Yes. Yep. Um, we piggy. now have uh, Rachel on the, uh, uh, on the call. Hi, Rachel. Hi, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Rachel. Rachel will be um, sharing her thoughts uh, later. While. We'll see you later. Hi, Rachel. Open your camera. Rachel, you there? Yes, I'm here. I don't know why it's at, <laughs> at the left okay. side, bottom. Um, there is mute. Okay, there you go, Rachel. Hi, Fresh good in morning. the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel here. I uh, will be sharing the name of her business. Um, how did she? He, let's cut. Let, uh, let's cut for a while the presentation. Anyway, this a call is being recorded, uh, so we got everything um recorded and probably up in youtube <laughs> but yes no, no, don't put it on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah so um rachel will be sharing um how did she come up with a business how was she uh trying to compute uh her earnings and what is the status of the business right now rachel please uh take the floor okay hi good morning good morning hi. So I have a presentation. I prepare a small presentation. Yeah. Because Fantastic, I don't have please. Uh, you can share. <laughs> I want to share it. Just uh, how to share it. Just hold on one second. The, the green one in the middle is yeah, a green yeah. screen. Okay. So you can see it, guys? Yep. Yes, we do. <laughs> Pick a tea. Yes, guys. 
So technically, this is the my business, and we started by March 20, 2019 up to present right now. So uh, we have our Facebook. This is number one important. I will share to you all. Uh, Rachel, the oh, you can just continue discussing, okay? I'll be back in a while. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. So hi, uh, see here, this is my, uh, let's go back. So this is my business. So you can see it all. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, it's my first time to use Zoom because I used to use Google Meet. <laughs> so this is the available in my menu in my business. Okay. So part of my business uh, is we have some promotion. You can see it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. This is the sample part of our products. Here you go. And uh, uh, this one, every year we are providing this. This is what we call our business photo collage, wherein uh, we collected all the, their photos in the shop in a daily basis, and we put it in a collage and put it in the, in the website, in our, uh, sorry, in our Facebook. Hmm. So let's start, okay? So for me, uh, see, uh, the first question that they asked me before is why 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 milk the business key since the uh, business in the philippines sorry just hold on one second because my slide are getting a little bit slower <laughs> okay okay so uh why milk the business because uh, since philippines is a tropical sorry. God. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys, uh, because I'm fixing the screen for you. All. No worries. We 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 were used to uh, to Google Meet also, and so just today is the first day with Zoom. So yeah, it's fine. Yeah, please, uh, please uh, bear with me. Okay, so why milk tea business? Since Philippines is a tropical country, Filipinos are naturally drawn towards refreshing drink, whether it's an ice cold soft drinks or the homemade sagot gulaman. So most of the Filipino knows know this sagot gulaman. This is very very famous in our country. Okay, since uh, the opening of the first milk tea store in the Philippines uh, on the year 2008, from being underdog milk tea has risen to become the everyday feel-good staple of the most Filipino. So personally itself, I love the milk tea and I've been trying the stores in the country as well. Actually, not all, the first time I tried milk tea is when I'm working in Singapore. Mm. So from that, I... Hello. From that, I really get curious. Then I went on Hong Kong also and I tried the <clears> famous milk tea. Uh, it's called Gong Cha. They are also having in the Philippines. So technically why I, I, I choose this business is because I am passionate about it. I like it. I know the taste. I am one of the markets. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's go now for the marketing strategy. So uh, marketing strategy, uh, this is one of the, what do you call this? This is one of the uh, the thing that we need to consider prior opening a business, okay? Why? Because uh, this is how we can uh, ask the people or the consumer to select us than, than the other, the, I mean, than our competitors. Since in Philippines, there are a lot of milk tea business, we need to find something that it will be like, I want to try this. You get the point? As a, as a mm. customer, as a buyer, I want to try this. So what we have done, I will just share to you some of it. So prior opening, we created a social media like uh, Facebook, okay? We start making a poll. But maybe a week prior opening, we start making a poll. So what do you think? Uh, what do you want to try? With? It's like buy one, get one. You will get buy one and you will get free one. And then you can choose between different products. So this is one part of our marketing strategy. Then the second thing is what I'm telling you from the very beginning is we create a photo liking contest uh, uh, who can get the most number of likes of their self selfie? They will have something like free. Sometimes we put free t shirt with our logo. Uh, we put some free tumblers, small, small things. Okay. Hmm. Because we'll help the people like 
they will come to you because sometimes especially me, i like who oh, doesn't everybody loves me <laughs> exactly exactly so we also created this uh, loyal loyal card a uh, loyalty card Do you, are you aware of starbucks yeah. yeah okay in starbucks they have a loyalty card when you finish like 10 10 coffee you will get the free uh what is this planner mm. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. But for us, like we have buy nine and then we are going to give them a free milk tea. Yeah, so again. Yeah, again, it's another free, right? Sure. Yeah. So uh, the, the best thing that we do, I mean, for me personally, since uh, uh, I, it's, it's my own branding, we totally prepare the shop prior to the opening. Why? Because mostly our target here are the students, the, uh, the young generation, because they love to explore food. At the yeah. same time, at the same time, this is what you need to understand. At the same time, we love to take photo of our food and share it in social media. Correct? Yes. So we prepare the shop opening. We call it the Instagrammable day, wherein they can take a photo inside the shop with their milk tea as well. So by this, uh, the milk, it's, it's not hard for us that the people will know us, follow us, or like our shop, like our page in, uh, uh, about, about the shop. True. Okay. Like today, Facebook and Instagram is 50% of your business. You do that exactly. right, you get a good exactly. business. Exactly, exactly. At the same time, the best thing also is you have to, to pursue them to can you please add me some Google review, Facebook yeah, review? Yeah. Because the review, when, if you will search it in Google, they will give you the star. So me, as, my, as a regular consumer as well, and I love food, when I see something like, oh, five star, I will go there. You know, like I was like, oh, okay, I, I want to try this because people are recommending this. You know, so it that's... happened. Yeah, it happened also, I think, for me one time in Tim Hortons. They mm -hmm. have this um, iPad where you can do your um, review. Mm -hmm. Like it's a survey that you do the review and they give you free donut for this once you complete it. Yes, because it's very, very helpful. Even, uh, <laughs> it's, no, 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 it's real because when they check your page, uh, yeah. example, I, I, you as my friend, can you just check this ticket? You will first look at the photo at the same time the review. Yes, like for me, if I will go to a new place, I will go to review. Like exactly. uh, how many, yeah, before how I many will... like, how many, <laughs> what is their best selling product and these things. And then there's another, uh, we tried, uh, I think by the first year of our business. Do you know this YouTube blogger for the food? No. Like, like there's a people, uh, not that so famous. I mean, they, they have a lot of viewers in YouTube. Yes, yes. I know. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So the thing is, they will, they will go there in your shop. So we are allowing it so that we will be part of the shop. And they will recommend it. So they, I mean, they will recommend some of the products. You invite For example, them. what they like. They invite, uh, some of it, they will, uh, they will also reach out to um. you. Yeah. But most of the time, I think uh, two people that I personally know, I invite them to do uh, to be part of the milk tea in the Philippines, and it's a it's a success because from one thousand two hundred likers in Facebook, I reached to one thousand seven hundred. Oh, okay, so it's three wow. five hundred is a big thing. Yeah, I mean, even it's uh, taking a bit time, but it's a good one, you know. <laughs> so, do you have any questions? Uh, for now, none so uh, far. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go now to this uh COVID nineteen effect. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, when COVID nineteen, when the pandemic uh, brought, uh, I mean the pandemic when they come at around at I think by mid of uh, two thousand twenty or early two thousand twenty. No, like I think it was uh, March when it took early yes. everything. Yes. Early twenty twenty. Yeah, early 2020 yes yeah. exactly so we all know that small business and large business get hit by pandemic in a very very bad way correct mostly people will choose also to buy the necessary things because of the 
scared. I mean, they are scared. Even me, I will choose to buy my grocery, my rice, than doing the milk tea. And uh, honestly, it become really big effect with uh, affect. It, uh, I mean, in the shop, it's really uh, we have to close also for I think uh, three months, especially by uh, April, May, June. This three months of 2020, we don't have choice, but we we need to close the shop because why? I cannot afford to pay rent because I don't have a daily income just like before the pandemic, correct? I have to pay the people also. In, I mean, I have to pay the people that are working for me, plus the electricity, water, et cetera, et cetera, correct? At the same time, you know that in Philippines, in our country also, we have this um, municipality quarantine and we have this total lockdown. So whether we like it or not, we have to close the business temporarily for three months. Okay. And mm -hmm. I want to ask something. Where is yeah, your I have business a question located? Also. Sorry? Where is your business located? It's in San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. I, uh, so yeah. in Bulacan? San Jose, Bulacan. Yeah. I yeah, have a San question. Del Monte. Mm. Like because like when you're renting a place, it comes with a contract. And then if you close, um, three months. How did Continuous. you? Yeah, handle uh, it. So, see, to be honest with you, the because of the closure of the business, because of the COVID nineteen as well, our landlord is, didn't ask us to pay for three months also. Oh okay. no, it's understandable. Okay. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Because, no, the, yeah, the, the, this, this, not, this. Oh my God! No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, this is the good thing. See, this is the good thing mostly. That's why I choose to do a branding than going for a franchise, which is I will this I will share to you also in a while. Okay. Okay. Yeah, franchise is gonna be much uh, much harder now. Much harder because you have to pay for the name itself. Exactly. Okay. And you're not making you're not making money. You're not making a lot of money. You don't have margins, honestly. And, and be honest, very limited also on exactly. your promotions and everything. Limited exactly. Program. Actually, this is real. That's why I I choose it. I mean, I didn't choose it. You know, by during the time when I'm doing the setup the, of the business, I'm doing a research as well. So I tried this gong cha, this franchise. Oh my God, that the fee for the franchise itself for the name only is too expensive. So I How have to think your... of. I have a I have another question. Hmm. How much is your capital? For me, it's around 350. Oh, also for only 350, huh? No, 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 no. Because everything, including the shop, I mean, I have to fix the shop, okay? Oh. I have to buy all the appliances, all the mm -hmm. furniture. That's it only. But for but you can start, or start a milk, up, okay. No, no, you can start a milk tea business in 50,000 maximum. Mm -mm. To be honest with you. you uh, it's just this? because you did all the renovation, that's why. Everything. Because, because I want, I, I mean, I plan for it, to be honest with you. So I mean, it means I have a capital for it because I really like yeah. to, to be mm -hmm. a part of the market because you see the gong cha, some other milk tea business, any other business, and, they are... And I, are mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Joby also, like with this one, you will consider also, like you already have your, you're so advanced, you already have your financial forecast. Okay. So it will also make sure your return of investment, I think. Mm -hmm. Ah, see, we will discuss that later yeah. also because I, I, I didn't prepare the state, the financial status because I don't have time to do because I got something. But anyhow, I'm sorry about that, time. Rachel. But yes, uh, <laughs> Rachel, how long has been the um the business ongoing again? It's almost three years on Mars. Three years. Mm. So you know, a business. Uh, you can uh say that the business is either. I will continue or will stop on the third year or the fifth year. Um, later while we'll ask you of, on what status are you in right now? Would you still continue or give up? Yes, later. <laughs> All right then, continue. Okay. So do you have any question regarding this COVID-19? Um, no. no. It's no, understandable. No, we, we want it to go away as fast as possible. So <laughs> leave it. <laughs> So let's continue with the return of investment. Okay, return of this investment. Is more, is... more interesting. Yeah, <laughs> the return of investment. This is all the business is all about. 
Okay. So <laughs> let's go to return of investment. So a return of investment is a performance measure to evaluate if we, we get back our capital, correct? So uh, to be honest with you, for the first year, I can say that our initial capital has been returned. Ask me why. Uh, during discussion earlier, I told you I tried to think outside the box because since we have a lot of Nielsen business everywhere, it's like side to side. What I've done is uh, I tried to do supply of ingredients. Yes, you become so a supplier. I like that idea. Yeah. Yes. No, yeah. no, I'm giving, I'm, gi side. I'm sharing you the idea. So yeah. the thing is, uh, it, it, Save, uh, it saved me a lot and bring me also a different kind of income, correct? Because yes. I'm ordering I'm ordering all my ingredients in Thailand with cost and shipping or oh, whatever. Really? Yes, because uh, I have a friend there also, so she's finding me a very good supplier. So you can you can save the cost of uh, I mean your raw materials and everything shipping from Thailand rather than buying locally. Yeah, yes, 100%. Yes, save because, about 30 40 percent exactly. At the same time, if you order in the box, yeah, it will, and then people will buy you in the prices lower than you they are receiving from other competitors. So, you are it's a win win situation. You yeah. earned a little at the same time, you see for your ingredients itself. Correct. The ingredients yeah. they really have a long shelf life, right? Like also, a two yeah. year shelf yes. life. It's a um, one year, it's to be honest. And then it's yeah. workable. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's workable, but you have to be like, you know, you have to be, you have to play the game nicely also. So, so those ingredients else? are, sorry, I have another question. So mm. those ingredients are ambient or need to be chilled? Because, I mean, if, no, if no, it no. needs a refrigeration, this is, this is oh. a powder. Powder. I see. So okay. It's a powder ingredient. So not, okay. Yeah. Ambient. Yes, yeah, so it's it's like the, the it's uh, for one year. He's correct. The uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, Mr. Alex is correct. It's uh expires for one year. The shelf life is one year. Okay. Another thing that I created in the first year of the business is I have like I cannot do a franchise. What I did is tie up. You know what tie up means? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Partnership. Yeah. Partnership, yeah. like uh, yes, tie up or partnership with okay. other milk tea brand. Okay, so we have like we are supplying for you the ingredients. Okay, but you cannot deliver in this area because this is my area. Same also with me. Contract. I mean, mutual agreement that this is mutual. my territory. You should <laughs> yes. not come in this one. Exactly like, the know, days right. the dealers used to mutual do. Mutual right? agreement, business agreement. <laughs> Yes, because see, Understood. I told you, it, you know, I told you earlier, there are too much milk tea business in the Philippines. Even if in the Sari Sari store, you can find the milk tea business. Like there. all over, <laughs> bring yes, you every, all yes. over and everywhere. So this is so, the. Mm -hmm. By doing that, that partnership that you said, I want to ask. So what did you get and she get? I mean, what what did you both come up? I mean, this what's the, the benefit? No, I mean, beside from. Beside yeah. from yeah, he she he will he or she will not deliver to your territory, mm -hmm. and you will as well not deliver. It's good why because example someone order from his side, okay? I mean from his in his territory, he will transfer it to me. Ah, I see. Mm. So it's like a mutual, oh, okay. nice. mutual. This okay. is my side. This is your side. This is the agreement. I will supply for you some cheaper ingredients. Ah, it's so like the advantage for him is he will get a cheaper cost of your raw materials. Exactly. So it's like a unity, so everybody will survive. It's exactly. just a matter. It's just a matter of time until somebody will break it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's real, and then they are also. Uh, I mean, right now we call it milk tea family. <laughs> we yeah, have this milk tea family. Honestly, that's something nice that you don't you don't really see. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Really, I'm impressed, to be honest. I may as well uh, shift into milk tea now. <laughs> <laughs> so I can give yeah, you a right. supply. And I can give you an ingredient. So I have one. Uh... Yeah, why not? Yeah. Why not? 350,000, you say, right? <laughs> yes, you can start with 50,000. 
So another thing, so I, I know you are become interested with this because of this family tree of our milk services. <laughs> it's interesting because sometimes also uh, the problem is when there are too much shops and providing the same brand or the same taste. So sometimes they will just keep on, uh, I mean, they are going to this because it's near, they are going to this because of near. So when you have a tie up and there's some mutual agreement and respect with each other, everyone at the end of the day will smile because you are earning, I am earning, we have a very good agreement, that's it. And the By customer the way, how, gets his tea. Hmm? And the customer is, is going to get his tea. Exactly. Yeah, at the end of the okay. How many employees, by the way, do you have? I have two. Two plus the delivery or including the delivery? Two plus okay, delivery. You do delivery. Yes, you ah, do so delivery. You total in three. Yes. Oh, do you do Sorry. Hmm? Sorry? And if I am... Sorry, I cannot understand. Alex, uh, what how, did you say? How do you do the delivery of the product? What do you mean? How do we deliver? By motorcycle. Oh, okay. Yes. So you have your own. You have your yeah, own. Yeah, you it's our use... own. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Maybe definitely by next year we're going to try this. Uh, like like for us, we have in Philippines we have this uh, food panda grab. Yes, yes. uh, we will try that by next year, but not now because right now the sales is quite slow because of still the pandemic issue and all the limitations that we have. So. It's uh, it's more cheaper for us to do this uh, because uh, in this food panda in this grab food we have to pay something you know like I have I have one more question. Mm -hmm, okay. It's non-stop me. Okay, so how much is your wa the wage of your employees? Actually, it's your daily two hundred fifty daily. So you pay every fifteenth or uh, same the usual uh, weekly. Salary. Weekly. Oh, okay. Alex, hear that out. See? Yeah. No, because why weekly? Because this is what So 300. Require. Yeah, okay. So 300 weekly. Yeah. And and no, 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 no. Daily, daily, my dear. Actually, 300. I'm, what I'm sorry. 300 daily and you pay them weekly. And uh, oh, yes. one more. Yeah. Are you already also following really the law? I mean, all your SSS, your process, etc., etc. Or to be, to be honest, no, because yes, I, yes, I agree with you. Sometimes it won't really happen. No, because the, sometimes even the employee doesn't want to do it. So what can we do right now? I'm trying. I want also to be like that, you know. But um, they don't like. What can I do? They don't want the, um, the cut. There is a cut. The oh, yeah. They don't want. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. So, no SSS, no peg a big, or yeah, I mean, the all those. Uh, they don't they have right now. But, you know, I'm proposing it. Like, uh, I'm worried that they may, you know, it may come a time they will sue you. You know, in Philippines, sometimes their mind is. Yes, that is real. <laughs> especially when your business is growing. Yeah, no, but definitely when your business is going, then you have to start this one. That, but right yeah. now, because I told you I'm, I'm in a bit stagnant right now. Mm -mm. So it's still okay. But definitely, I hope God will give me another good year <laughs> for so, this. So, so, so we'll they're contractual, it. you mean? I mean, yes, 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 yes. So we every six months like that? Every six months, they have the freedom to, to, to go also or what. Yeah, so I, I, I that's, that's also another problem. That's why it's better for you to do this kind of things with the contract and this thing. So at least, you know, your employee will stay with you for a year. Because sometimes it's a problem. Employee is a problem itself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I learned something. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. So, uh, prior opening, I just want to share to you. Prior opening of the business, you have to, to check everything. Okay? In a milk tea business specifically, you have to check how much is the cost to make per cup. Okay? The labor, the materials, the monthly rent, the personal salary. And that, of course, this is very important that I'm always discussing with my with the with the with the with the professor in our operational management. We always have a backup plan. Why? Because putting a business is like a trial and error. Whether you like it or not, you don't know if it will succeed. It will, or I mean, until when it it mm -mm. it 
it's it's not only for the own business, own small business, own big business, even the franchise. I know some Jollibee, Jollibee, we know Jollibee, right? Jollibee yes. is a very, very good brand in the business, but I know a place where in anything they put, the last time, the last resort they put is Jollibee, is still the, that franchise didn't work out. Maybe the location might exactly. be. Definitely. This yeah, is what that's I'm the telling. number one. Yeah, location. Mm. That's what I'm telling them. I, I mean, that's what I'm always telling. And when I'm doing my draft business, plan i'm always have to put the backup plan because at the end of the day you have to understand correct there is no uh, i mean everything changed like example by early, when we start make doing our when we start the opening of shop by march 2019 everything is okay to be honest i am almost earning 20,000 uh every month in retail 15,000 to 20,000 every month in retail then the pandemic hit so what can i do People love the tea. People love the product. People love the my business. So I cannot just also close it. Yes. That's why we always it's very very important that we always have a backup plan. Yeah, what I is like the status of Picati right now? So Picati, I'm so proud to tell you that I do a renovation right now. I make it bigger and more Instagrammable. So by September 1, it will be open again for the public. I mean, though it's a limitation because do you remember when I discussed with you before, I am only having this one small shop. Yes. Okay, wherein I can only, I mean, without pandemic, maximum six to eight people. So right now what I've done is I make two shops into the one so i have made some design you remember this donut time that i'm yes. telling you the flower flower so i can't replace it <laughs> how did you get to know joel joel he is my instructor in operational management yes. <laughs> oh, oh, also same like us okay all right yes I she's my student in operations like... management she's in dubai mm -hmm. you're in dubai not right now Diria? yes yes she's in dubai. Yeah, please continue. So, yeah, yeah. So, guys, do you have any question? I Questions? almost say yes. everything. Yeah. Jill, uh, because uh, for uh, Jill, her business is a little bit similar because she'll be offering uh, milk tea. Do you have any yeah. question, Jill? So, for you, um, you are in Dubai. So, when you started your business, were you in? Did you like take your time to go to the Philippines plan plan everything, or you have uh, someone doing it? Do, do so, yeah, it's long distance management. Ah, yes, this is long distance management, and we always discussing this. Uh, by 2018, I started the idea of business. Okay, by 2018, I started the idea of business, and my brothers also invest on this business. So by 2019, when I go home, March 2019 to April 2019, I'm in Philippines. We start, we start the, uh, we start up the business itself. Okay. But this right now, yeah. so she has her brother. Things. But I it's have my brother. Business, yes, something. it's a family business, and my mom is the one taking care of right now, and I'm very, very grateful for that. <laughs> yeah. you get to your mom to do something for the business. Yeah. So you, you do have also right, like um, finding someone. So you do have your relatives it. involved. In yeah. You know, it's very, very essential for you when you put a business. If you are not there, at least you have someone that you can really 100% trust to. Trust. Because even if you invest the half million or 500,000, this is I'm always sharing with everyone. But if the people will not take care of your business, it will always go down. Believe me. I agree. Uh -huh. That's why if you people. don't have, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you don't the have honest. someone, yeah. Number one, yes, honesty, integrity, and trustworthy. This is number. And you are do you married. agree? Yeah, do you agree with me? Because you know what, even family, you really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, family, you can. Uh, yes, you don't yeah. even know if you so, can trust yeah, them. Yeah, sorry completely. to say, but I cannot really, you know, give my money and tell my cousins or like that. Oh, I, I, I then at the end of the day, I just I, myself. You know, you what, know I, like, it, I have it a very. 
No, no, no. That is real. That's why I'm telling you, don't yeah. waste your money if you don't have someone who you can trust 100%. Mm-hmm. Because it will be right. waste of money. Even mm-hmm. if, example, first month, second month, third month, it will be like, you know, wow, it's my business is growing. But if she will do something, it's 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 impossible. You know, you get what I mean? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I, it is- I I heard a lot of drama of most of my colleagues here at work. Where drama. They started small business. Drama, yeah. yeah, drama. Yeah, most of them started the business, and then after three months, it go why? Because someone ran the capital. Someone. Yes. I mean, mm-hmm. my, uh, ma- my, uh, my the my reality. Used, no, my relative used the sales to to pay her debt like that you know all exactly of mm-hmm. <laughs> lots of excu- excuses when it comes you know when your family is involved and then what can you do you will sue people al- will laugh at you again in your neighborhood that oh they're only yeah. families and now they're <laughs> yeah. that's why uh, the thing that i'm always suggesting most of my colleagues you want to start a business it's either you give up your career here if you don't yeah, or you I find agree. Some, uh, no you find someone yes. to, to you can to trust because yeah, it's there only are, two things. Yeah, there and no, at the like, same time, it, there are mm, sorry. No, nah, like I said, if you if you give an opportunity for somebody to be a partner and a part of your business that they used to not do anything every day, you know, and be have have no I don't know, have no aspirations for the rest of their lives, then possibly he will be the right partner, you know. <laughs> that's why you know, that, exactly. that's my whole for, idea yeah i mean for me no one will really care for a business other than you yes and for me it's a good point jovi that's true because mm-hmm. that's your brain child that's your idea yeah. that's your You're probably your money that, that you yeah. have put out there exactly yes You're, this is your yeah, you, uh you know um your sweat and blood <laughs> yeah no also, uh, your, Jovi, your, your, your job is a little yeah. dirty so yeah. come on, it's not gonna, no, I will, I will not will not, <laughs> you're not going to invite your cousin to say, hey, I need somebody to clean the poop for me. Can you do it? I'll pay you every <laughs> month. Come on. <laughs> I think yeah, they, it doesn't you know, have to be there's family. There's also an admin, yeah, I mean, job for that one. I mean, so this is, a, wow, this is a sample. Hard. Rachel. Of, very nice. Rachel, is this an actual, Rachel, um, actual this product that you have? Question. I think Bacon it's very tea, important yeah. for everybody to know the price. Uh, yes, prices. Yes, how much? Yeah, prices. I have a small for 45, 55, and 65. Oh. It depends. It depends on oh. the flavor. Okay, like Jill. this one. This is the you see this green one. No, this one is yeah. the green. Yeah, what is that? Green one. This is a fruit tea. Green apple okay. coffee. So this one it's a medium one, so it's a fifty dirham. I fifty dirham, sorry. Fifty dirhams only. Five, uh, five dirhams. Ooh. And this is my best seller. This is mango, and this is Okinawa. Oh, I like mango. I like Okinawa. Amy, I like mango. Oh my god. So those are the prices. So that's from forty-five, fifty, and sixty-five. Sixty-five. Yeah. Sixty-five. Uh, ask about so, the marketing uh, because we're at the marketing right now. And how how do you compute your sales? Uh, how, what do you use? What system do you use? Sorry, marketing example for this. See, eh? we're doing some promos in our Facebook page. Okay, like this, I remember when I'm telling you before also, we have some loyalty cards, we have photo liking contests, they will do a selfie with their brand, they will post it in the Facebook page mm-hmm. and many people will like they it. The one who is most... Show. Yes. Hashtag. <laughs> this one, you have to be, you know, like trending with them. <laughs> What's your Instagram? Hashtag is your best I don't friend. have Instagram. I and only Instagram. get this Facebook. Uh, Facebook. And I, I hope you will like it, please. <laughs> yeah, what's your Facebook? Pick a tea. Pick a tea. I think I have followed that already. Pick a tea. Pick tea. I am asking you guys to follow because I San Del Monte. Want to I'm not a Facebook yes. fan. Yes. I have one more question. So when you know all this documentation, mm-hmm. you did not struggle. I mean, it's Sorry? easy. You know, documentation, this, like Mm-mm. this licenses. No. Oh, yes. no, 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 no. It's not that 
hard because you just okay. have to go to barangay or municipality mm-hmm. they will give Thank you this you. Is how they will ch- first 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 sorry because i i need to share this to you since for me it's my own brand okay mm-hmm. i have to go to the to dubai municipality to the municipality <laughs> to check if this name is available yes because uh, this see. is yeah this speak at me to be honest this is a third name because the first oh. one is already taken So the second one mm. is taken also. So I was like, I'm there. I want to finish the registration. Put <laughs> ticket like that. <laughs> And then after that, we do we we make this logo like you know a nice logo. Actually, there's something at the down. It's like a great day starts with you and me like that. Uh, your... In all the cup. <laughs> That's why it's important What? to have backup names like we mentioned before. So, yeah, that will be for our module one. We did that. Like yeah, the possible the... names. See, you see here, like a great day starts with you and me. So it's part of my my line, whole yeah. brand. Yeah, this is mm-hmm. my slogan, my business slogan. <laughs> yes. What about the the branding? Like, where did the cops with the logo? You have it mm-hmm. um, printed, or this is a sticker? No, no, no. This is printed. No, all printed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's part of earlier when I discussed with him. It's cost per per cup because it's printed. At the local, same time, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Local. Guys, go to the Besoria. They will give you a very very cheap Good discount <laughs> there. <laughs> the All right. Um, how do you? The, the, what about the computation of your sales? How would you do that? Mm-hmm. Weekly, daily, um, monthly. We have- No, no, no. For the competition of the sales, I I'm doing it. I'm telling you guys, uh, in a daily basis because I'm not there. So my mom is doing it in daily. Then we are going to do it in weekly. We will remove all the cost, of course, the cost, so we can see the net. Yes. This is our used to used to as of day because right now it's a small business. Maybe definitely when it become big business, it become weekly. So right now it's still it's still we can switch those. Do you have days. like POS like a point of sale system? Uh, Or it is it's manual. Do you issue receipts for their purchase? Because you know, it's to be honest, it's very very expensive. This one, this POS yes. system. Yeah, so that's since right. it's, Yeah, you know this cashier. Uh, you know the the yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 this that's is like around there. only the yeah, cash register. It's only around fifteen thousand in Philippines, and this is oh, very very helpful. Expensive already. The fifteen k. Yeah. No, but yeah, the system is more expensive because mm-hmm, it comes with yes. a program. That yeah, is everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if, so I think it's okay for a start to fifteen thousand. Yeah, this is what we are using because this one is also recording every day. Like yes. whatever you you put yeah. there, it will come. It will count it manually, and then it would yes. issue a receipt. Yes, issue a receipt. Do you do taxes? Tax. Accounting uh, like No, no, no. If you are a small business, you don't pay that taxes. Okay. So how, when you, you what's the range of small business? How much is the capital? Uh, the, the at least around at around hundred. I mean, in our barangay, if you how much capital, is it there? A hundred. Ten thousand dirhams. Yeah, ten thousand. So not taxable. Not taxable. So above ten k is taxable. I mean, one, yes. above one hundred k. Yes, yes. Because here, when you start this business, um, I mean, milk tea, I'm, I'm sharing it to you. You don't need a VAT certificate. You just need the municipality, like, you know, uh, business registration. It's so easy in the Philippines, it's yeah? Easy. It's very, very easy. And like here... So, you know, Alex, <laughs> no, if there were like, 100,000. I don't know <laughs> if they change because uh, I have to check that also when this we open the big one. Yeah, I, maybe I think this time there will be a quite sticker because of this COVID thing, especially to food businesses. I, I will tell, think. yeah, I will because they are asking some permit like hygiene permit. Mm-hmm. Your they will also, you know, it's still that every quarter they are sending someone to check if you're since you are in a food business, they will check the shop if it's hygienic. They will do that also in mm-hmm. the barangay. If not, you will get fined. How about your uh, daily sales? Because you're doing your how much are you uh, like earning on a I daily basis? I was about basis? to ask that. For <laughs> see, uh, I told you remember during the discussion earlier before the pandemic hit, I am almost like I can get one thousand pesos in a day. 
which is oh, very yeah. good. Yes, for a barangay, yes. 2000, yeah, 1,000 to 2,000 pesos in a daily sales before. This is so, net, Yeah, I mean, oh, yes, net, net, yes, net, net, because you have to remove also, uh, yeah. it's, in our daily, what we are removing also is the ingredients. We didn't remove the, the daily of the people also, because I'm gonna die if you're gonna, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> My mom will kill me. <laughs> How many employees do you have now? Three. Three. I already asked, yeah. yeah. Three in store and one delivery. Two in store and one delivery. Yes, two in store, uh, one I'll tell you also, weekly uh, weekly uh, uh, payment of salary, Joel. Yes, weekly payment of salary. Yes, not 15 and 30 yet. And Joel, there's also a secret. No, because we, yeah. no SS. No, uh, <laughs> yes, I will also go to that. I will also do it. No, no, because it's a small business. I told you yes, guys. So not necessarily I, that, they, yeah. that, that you would do yes. yes. it. But if, if I get the VAT certificate, tax in these things, I have to go to SEC. You know, I SEC have, in Ortigas, you have to register yeah. your business there as a large-scale business. Then this time, I think I really need to, to make all of this possible happening or else they will come and sue me. I have to mm -hmm. ask you something. You said that you are getting 250 for mm. salary of your staff. Uh, 300, that's, right? That's your unit, 250. Mm. Uh, what is this Jovi? It's I, 250, I thought right? it's 300. <laughs> it's still 250, so 300, yeah. But yeah. free lunch. But I mean, like, does your municipality set um like a salary bracket for like a minute? No, no. No, for our municipality in San Jose del Monte, they don't interfere with internal things. As long as you, you provide the, what they want from you, you pay your uh, business permit, your license, and the things, they will not interfere on your daily. They will not even ask you for financial. Okay. Oh, but, I see. Like because, yeah, as you said, because you're small. <laughs> No, because it's a small yeah, business. business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but if you go for a big one, like you have the franchising and these things, this is a different story. This yeah, one, they will, yeah. they will that one, go. they will start checking exactly. everything. That's yeah. the reason why I don't do the franchising. I can yeah, do a franchise, yeah. but I can't. I don't, it's because just, I'm not there. It's a different yeah. story. At the same time, my mom cannot handle it, so... I, that's why I do only the family business I up, like where I'm just sharing ingredients and just things. So, you know I mean, what? They to learn, right? Like the, mm -hmm. like the actual, what is really happening? Because if like doing the business plan, we are not there, we do researches. And what is online is really different uh, on what is really uh, happening. So, actual. Oh. Yeah. You know what, dear? Earlier, I mean, I I only have two businesses in my mind. One is the piggery. Next is the petrol station, a small petrol station. Now I, you know, I feel like I like this. A multi petrol station. <laughs> oh yeah, my God. This a multi business. <laughs> yeah, guys. Uh, in Bulacan, you know that the, we also have. It's very famous, also the piggery. And my mom, my mom and dad, we have a small piggery also. You know, if you're going to sit down and going to compute really the cost, you're not mm -hmm. you're not earning. Believe me, in a figure, I'm not saying this to you, but how many yeah, years okay. now that my mom and dad is doing this? It's almost twenty years, and okay. I feel like always, you know, like break because they are paying for feed. They are paying for for the, feeds, yeah, yeah, feed, ah. the labor, the booster, the labor, and everything. Yeah. So actually, this is also what I said earlier that the the thing that will kill a piggery is the feeds. That's exactly. why my aunt is saying you need to come up or plant something. You know, a lot besides your farm, like your banana leaves, they are also eating yeah. to lessen the cost. Yeah. To be honest, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. In in no, no, guys. In in Bulacan, mostly the, the the you know the market there, the wet market that we have, mm -hmm. they are already tied up with the people. Like example for us, I saw my mom crying because of this. Because remember this foot and mouth disease, you know, yes. foot and mouth disease yes. that we mm -hmm. Philippines. We have twenty to thirty pigs that are dead. Oh my God. It's oh, a big it's loss. Real. It's real. It's a big mm -hmm. loss. It's like a week before that, they are going to get killed. You know, it's not her. They just feed. And, and just strong. Yeah, it's a profit for uh, six crying. months. You know? That's a lot.
Yeah, yeah, because yeah. in living stock, you have to be more prepared. To mm-hmm. be honest, because there's a part of also the disease yeah, and yeah, the maintenance yeah. of them, their feeds. You cannot, you know that when example when they are in a small pig, the piglet, they have a different mm-hmm. kind of feed, right? Yeah. Yes. And when they reach a certain, starter, yeah. yeah, when they reach a certain age, also I'm sharing this with you because I know my mom. And yeah. Yes, <laughs> please. Yes, yeah. In the in the certain issues, it's a different kind of feeds, and you have this booster and yes, everything. Really, guess, so yeah. if we're going to sit down and really compute the actual cost, it's like uh, nothing. Maybe you're earning for it's like a piggy bank. You know, you're just saving your money and mm-hmm. wait for six months until it's there, and you think that you get it all. Yeah, that's yeah. why my aunt is really strongly telling me not to rely on feeds. Because feeds will kill your profit and finish all your savings. Yes, That's why yeah. you need to come up. See, pigs eat almost everything. Mm-hmm. So yes, then, you yes. just have to make sure to choose. You know, there are, I'm in plantation there we, uh, in, in that place where I'm planning to set up. I mean, I mean, this is not yet final. But yeah, there's uh, crops there, banana, uh, sort of things like that. I've already taken into consideration. And uh, another thing for that also is the kilo of the pig is also fluctuating. Not every yeah. time you'll get 130. It's the same. Sometimes it comes to 80 per kilo. I know yes. the market because I saw my mom and dad doing this. Mm-hmm. They enjoy it earlier and then later on when they They realize that uh, so, there are yeah, some drawbacks with that like, kind of business. Last yeah. night, I was talking to my mom and then we were thinking about certain business um, uh, possibilities. And then she opened up about uh, taking care of cows. Um, oh, this one is nice. <laughs> yes. Cows, you could purchase a calf for 40,000 um, pesos. And mm-hmm. then you can just graze it. I mean, because they don't need feeds. They just yeah. eat Mastured. like the, yes. Grass. Um, and then you could per- you could sell them after a year for 80,000 without spending mm-hmm. for the feeds, but feeds it's just the, the, man- the labor of the mm-hmm. person who would, um, you Purchase. know, walk the, yes. You- uh, you will just yes. pull the string of the cow and here you go, <laughs> buy this. Yes. <laughs> No, to be honest, though, it's good, but the since it's uh, it takes one year, uh, but the the income is good. Really, I you know I am keeping this in mind. You know this your tea business kind of interesting to me now. I mean, <laughs> yeah, and you know I really like that idea that you're selling also the raw materials. Yes. And <laughs> lastly, I really really like your backup one. Yes. At the same time, I really like, I hope you can like my page also. <laughs> Do? Tea, tea, pick a tea. I, 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 give you, I give you a like on Facebook, even though I'm not a big fan of Facebook. <laughs> okay, I will do it also. I'm doing it now. <laughs> All right. I believe, um, Alex, uh, because you're yeah. going to rack. Is it rack? I need to go to Rasa Kema, yeah. Rasa so, Kema, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. Okay, uh, then. Rachel, Dan, I like it. Thank you thank very much. It's uh, nice missing you. It was a thank pleasure. I, I personally learned uh, know, a bit from you, so that's a, that's a because good Because Alex's business would be a restaurant as well. Um, so mm-hmm. he would be offering food. So this is somehow uh, similar to... Uh, what is go- he's gonna offer? Uh, same yeah. like Jill, because she, the uh, she's offering food as well. Rachel, thank mm-hmm. you so much for uh, what you've You're shared. Um, you we so appreciate much. the the lesson. Jill, Jovi, uh, say your thanks. Yeah, thank you so much. I we did, and I like thank her you, page guys. also. Thank you guys. So way of uh, saying thank you. <laughs> thank you. I already very, like her. Very Rachel. smart. You have a backup plan. I, I like that. And what I like is the agreement that you have with the other competitors, which is, I don't know, it's just uh, it's You could just probably, probably apply Alex with your business as well. <laughs> definitely. I would love to have partners like this in, in the business, my, my competitors to partner with me and say, hey, listen, let's serve you know, different <laughs> yeah. areas and then you stay here and I'll go there. That, that's amazing. It's a good idea. 